Welcome back, everybody, to Dishonored. We're off to kill the slutty Boyle sister in the red dress. Uh, well, we're not killing her. We're gonna knock her out and deliver her alive to the basement. So, that being said, um, we've got to be careful to not get noticed by these. There's still two guards upstairs. I know this. Uh, but they obviously aren't close by because I'm not seeing them. There's one. Screw them. We need to now get downstairs. Oh, shit. Uh, how did I get up here again? I can't exactly remember. Shit. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, didn't we come up from over here somewhere? I thought so. There we go. Back downstairs. Yeah, because the guy was guarding this section at one point. And then, uh, you know, I, I came out of it. I'm no longer trespassing. Alright, cool. So, we gotta find the one in the red dress. And we gotta talk to her. Apparently, any man will do, and I am any man this evening. So, hopefully that uh, benefits me. Oh, that's a very nice bathroom you have there with your wooden toilets. Where is she? If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Let your family starve. Sell your wife into prostitution. What? I'm sure I can get you a good price. You son of a bitch. There's the old fire in spirit. Things are changing too fast to give up just yet. First that nasty mess with the Empress, now the High Overseer's gone. Parliament is shifting. The whole city's turning upside down. If we only had a good war to get into. <laughs> there you are. Although at this stage, I don't know who we could beat. But don't you see, we don't need to win a war, only lose it. Everything's revalued, and we let the conquerors worry about the problems. Interesting. I'll be informing the Lord Regent of your ideas in the morning. You don't mean... Okay, so this guy's actually... Drink, Byron. Please, do you mind not interrupting us? One sister's in red, one in white, one in black. I'm stumped. <laughs> My wife thinks we <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it. Go upstairs for clues. Oh, look, there she is. Slutty Boyle. Let's do this. By this, I mean, let's go somewhere private. Oh, hello, handsome. Hello there, beautiful. Let me get you a drink. Oh, shit. Yeah, she likes drinking. I'm already seeing two of you, but thanks anyway. Oh, shit. Uh... I don't care, though. I know that she's the one in red. Hmm. Silly. She's wearing black tonight. <laughs> oh, my word. I wasn't <laughs> supposed to say, was I? Lydia and Waverly will be so furious. This is exactly what they said would happen. Yes. That sounds delightful. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, okay, let's... That was easy. <laughs> so is she, obviously. Please welcome to the party. Anything you need, sir. These little mini confetti bombs Hello, are like... Sir. One giant innuendo for what's about to happen upstairs. The tobacco is getting more expensive by the day, undoubtedly. Now, if I'm with her, will I be trespassing? I doubt it. You know, I have a dirty little secret. You can't imagine who I'm seeing. I mean, <laughs> if people only knew. But I'm only doing it to ensure the family name. It's too dangerous right now not to have proper connections. Yeah, totally. Truthfully, if I could get free of him, I would. You're more my task. Take anything. The Boyle cameo was in the attic last I checked. Oh Just shit. Please don't hurt me. Alright, well. Oh, cause she saw the dead body. Shit, son of a bitch. 
Okay, now. I gotta get her to the basement somehow. Jesus, how am I gonna get this broad to the basement? This is just gonna be trouble. Fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> okay, let's go back downstairs. Maybe what I'll do is I'll freeze time and then run with her. Oh, this is fucking ballsy right now. Okay. Uh. Oh shit, guy right there. I'm gonna hide here. Let's drink another one. Let's go bendy bendy. Oh my god. Okay, we did it. Now. There's my man that I need to talk to. Holy shit. I can't believe we did that. That stop time is absolutely crucial. Quickly, let's get her on board. Last. Oh my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. Goodbye. Good day, sir. That was pretty fun, actually. <laughs> there we go. Hamlet. She's not dead. So, very nice. Target neutralized. So I guess the only thing left to do now is uh, escape back to Samuel's boat and then we'll be going to Hound Pits Pub anyways. Pendleton throws me into that death match. What a dick. Yeah, I remember the sewers here. Didn't I fish my way in here? I think so. Oh yeah, but now, yeah, I remember this thing being here. Okay, it's all coming back to me. But these streets, man, they are not, uh... They are not empty, so I'm still gonna have to... Figure a way to get out of here smoothly. Oh, son of a bitch, Samuel. There he is. Wait. Let's go. Hi, yeah, we did it. I guess if I didn't stop time there, I'd have to do something a little bit different. Hey. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Just one second, because I think... Oh no, okay. So that bone charm that we got, I think it was last episode, actually. Um, we ended up getting that right outside the Pendleton... Or the Pendleton. The Boyle party, so... We're good. Let's, let's rock and roll, Sammy. This is an awkward position we're in here. There we go, much better. Look at that! Boom! Didn't kill anyone. Check. Got a lot of coins. Runes found. Dead or unconscious bodies found. Yeah, could have done better. But still. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, a lot of cool shit we did there. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And look, didn't kill anybody, finally. So talking non-lethal now we're definitely doing it non-lethal all my other kills were uh except from the very beginning were mostly uh from throwing people in the river so let's keep going let's head back to helm pits pub see what's going on uh lord regent's greatest financial supporter lady boyle is now okay so time to make preparations the final move i kind of want to talk to pendleton and be like what the shit bro you can't be throwing me into stuff like that without telling me Sammy, you got anything to say, or...? 
Usually pretty chatty. Lord Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. Oh shit. See this guy, man? I was sketched out by him. I love that. That's cool. Oh, look, we got another rune here. It's important to equip this thing, even to areas you've been before. Um, it looks like you still need to, to rock it out every once in a while. Uh, I will come and up... Well, let's do, let's do my upgrades first. Where's Piero? There he is. Have we read this? I don't think so. Oh, okay, that's cool. The copper wiring is making all the difference. Increasing the output by almost 50%. So he just yeah. records these notes to himself. The whale oil still has too many Impurities. I need to find a way to filter it myself if that idiot can't provide a better grade. Even the Academy doesn't have anything that will refine it to the specifications I require. Something new then. Perhaps using charcoal or multiple chamber device. I feel confident that the answer will come to me tonight as I slumber. Okay, well. What's up? Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything. Practically. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. Do you have any cool shit for me? I'm gonna buy some more sleep bolts, because I can. I'm gonna buy some more elixirs, because I can. I have so much money, it's ridiculous. Um, I may as well go... Boot Stealth. Considering how important that is to me. Mask Optics, let's do it. I'm just absolutely loaded now. May as well do more bone charms. I feel like I almost have too much money. Let's do, um... Let's do... The bolt capacity is only for standard bolts, which kind of blows. Let's... I don't know if I need to save money for anything. Like, I... Let's do crossbow range and crossbow reload. Enables auto reload. And faster reload. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that because it's just... You never know. Maybe I'll need this money. But now when I use this... Oh, I can get real zoomed in there. Check this out. What? Okay. Cool. So. Back into... Pub. Let's go upstairs. I don't know where this ruin is and why it's in here exactly. But. It's like up in my room. What the shit's going on here? That is really weird. Why would that be here? Anonymous note. Whoever you are, I must thank you for sparing at least part of my family. We all have enemies. Certainly we boil women. In a way, you've done me a favor, so you deserve a reward. I've passed this along from one of my servants through another who knows another to one of yours. May we never cross paths again. Okay. All right. So, it's from one of the Boyle sisters, and uh, she's saying, like, thanks for not killing the person. So, that's kind of cool. Now, um, fuck, we have a lot of runes going on. We've got a lot of things maxed out to level 2, which is very cool. Um, I can't actually buy anything except for Vitality, which would be nice. Uh, that actually would be nice. Bloodthirsty, I don't need Adrenaline. Agility, Jump Height is increased and Falling Damage is reduced. I think that and the Movement Speed will be nice, so... Turn into Ash as they die, that'd be cool to do on like a lethal playthrough. Uh, but I'm gonna actually save this one and get Agility, that's gonna be my next upgrade. Is Emily still up here? No. Okay. So now let's go talk to Pendleballs here and see 
what he can tell me. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Oh fuck! The streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain off limits pending an ongoing investigation. Corvo, you never cease to amaze. Yeah. So what's up with the duel? And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Oh, okay. Cool. What am I getting here? Take it. Everything's better with gifts. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the bar. Oh, he just gave me a rune. Well, that's real nice of you, actually. You're good in my books. Attention. You are required to cooperate with overseers. So, now we have two runes. Let's do agility. Very cool. Jump height is reduced, falling damage reduced. Or jump height is increased, I should say. You can jump higher by holding A. Okay. As you would members of the oh, shit. and elite guard. They speak with the Lord. That's I trust you enjoyed the boils. Oh. That is awesome! I'm just gonna just test this out. I wonder, is Havelock's name, um... Let's just see something here. Because this HB, I'm curious as to who this HB is. Um, it pains me I can't be there, because this was the, the note to Esma. HB, but what is, does Havelock, what's his first name? Oh, here we go. I'll just go around. Uh, I imagine Havelock is his last name, but I'm just not sure. Do I have anything from Havelock? Let's see from the very beginning. Just says Admiral Havelock. Okay, well, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe he wrote that note, but I'm trusting him so far. I've read that book. Oh, look at that. Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are urged to consider presenting children between the ages of seven. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Jesus. The last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. No pressure, hey guys? Like, holy shit. <laughs> uh, Dunwall Tower, hey? Entrance, first floor, second floor. That's, that's super. Actually, I mean, it does kind of help if you uh, see the top left corner there. It looks like maybe some stairs. Um, I don't know. I'm just talking about my ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've stolen all this shit already. Haven't I? Okay, Samuel. Um, Hello, love. You said Piero would get me prepared, but 
pretty sure that just means like, hey, go talk to Piero. Corvo. Emily's hiding again. It started as a game, but it's turned into her way of teasing me. <laughs> if you see her, will you send her back to me? It's time for her studies. Oh, damn. Search the streets for Emily. The streets? Yeah, well, I'm gonna go look for her. I'm gonna cheat. Come on, Emily. Where are you at? There she is. <laughs> Shh! Don't make any sound. I'm hiding from Callista. <laughs> it's a game we like to play. Yeah, you like to play. I remember playing hide and seek with you, too. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Here. This was at the edge of the river, in the mud. I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. <laughs> you can have it, as a present. That's real generous, man. I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while, anyway. Holy shit, there's runes flying all over the place, man. Everyone's just in rune mode. So, uh, how much is agility? Two. Oh, it's only three. Yeah, for sure, let's save it. For sure. Actually, can I not buy runes from Piero? I could be four, and I think it was like 450 bucks or something like that. And if I can, then I'm doing it. And if I can't, then, well, I can't. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. Yeah, I would love to buy. Oh yeah, so no runes. I thought you could... Why did I think you could buy runes from him? Hmm. I don't know. Hello to you, Corvo. I imagine you made that masquerade a lively event. I doubt there will be another <laughs> high society... Alright, well, everybody, this says this is like the big final thing. I don't know if this is the like the final big mission coming up here, but... Uh, we'll find out next episode. So thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you guys again next time. Until next time, uh, keep being Dishonored, keep playing Dishonored, and keep having a super time uh, being sleuthy or murderous.